know something besides your instrument. You know, usually when I, would, when I first started recording, I would go into the booth, you know, to listen back, and I'm looking at all this equipment. I didn't know what any of it did. You know, so I would be, now I know. I go in, I, I understand what's happening a little bit more. I think it's just important in general to wear a lot of hats. Um, musically, play a lot of different styles and be convincing. You know, be, you know, understand how to, if you're not a classical musician, you don't have to be, but understanding how to play, if a classical passage comes up, understanding how to approach that and maybe what equipment to use. Or if it's a Dixieland thing or a big band thing or what era it's from, maybe it's from the 1940s, and understanding what kind of vibrato to use. Um, as opposed to something that's more modern. Um, so all those hats can be very beneficial and, and lucrative as far as, as your chances of getting work. Knowing a little bit about the tech industry as well, knowing how to record, it's, open, it's like a side career for me now. A matter of fact, my latest CD, I did a lot of the overdubs and things at my house. Um, like I bring in guest artists, they come to my house and record. So I, now I don't have to go to a big studio and spend you know, $3,000 a day uh, and so I can save that cost. So in many ways, having a home studio is, is coming, uh, has been very good for me because it saved me some money on my own projects. It saved me thousands of dollars. So my investment, so I think wearing all those hats is good. Maybe you can write, being a writer. I see a lot of young musicians coming out of college with these skills now. And, uh, and I think the way we're educating it is better now. We're, we're teaching them about composition and the technical side of things. Besides how to play the instrument and maybe Maybe they become a writer and that becomes their passion, but they still do all these other things. Um, so yeah, that's, what I, that's the advice I would give anyway, is to be able to do a lot. Of, I wish I could write. I wish I could start over. I would probably play, play the piano as well as the trumpet, and I would write music um, yeah, for, the, for, the, for the reason of making money. <laughs> and also, just I think you have a broader knowledge base. I think uh, you, you see the industry in a different way when you understand everything. You're not, playing the trumpet is just one dimensional. You play one note at a time, you know. But if you have the big picture of how music is, is conceived, you're going you're gonna to understand better how to fit, fit this into the big picture, you know. We think this is the most important thing, you know, my notes. But it's not. It's really, it's how, it's how my notes work with the violins and how we're working together. That's the, the important thing. Hey.